December. So this is a hype match that we get coming up. Yes, this could be a premonition, and we're going to be seeing Aegis Dittos. Of course, we're going to see double the dosage of Beyblades, Ooh. naturally, and I am loving this as we speak. So, just before we already start within the match, shout out to Skip, that is also within the chat. Shout out to that, my, my man. I love in the commentary that you've been doing recently. So, we're going back into the match, and we're seeing that this is going to be a little bit confusing, but as we know, Spargo is using the green, I guess, the green, um, uh, what's it called? Mithra, I'm sorry. <laughs> the yes. green Mithra right here, and Cloud is using the uh, normal one. So, Right, they're getting punished of oh, all of that percentage off of that. Did you see the synchronization in changing the Pyra? We know that you're not. <laughs> Look, they're doing it on purpose, even. <laughs> it almost looks like that. Man, what the <laughs> Wow, <laughs> impressive right there. And, and they changed it both at the same time. Like, that's just wow. It's something that you don't really expect. But this is this is optimal Igus gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not playing the Igus like this, then you're not playing Igus at all. That's right, it is one of the characters to look out for and get used to the matchup because we're going to be seeing this character very often in brackets and not only in brackets, but in the highest part of these like winners on this side. And it's a very even matchup so far. Uh, Percentage-wise, it's anybody's game so far. It's going to be Cloudy trying to finish the stuff just now and finds the backer there, I think and takes the first stock off of Spargo, who's gonna be trying to fish for that too. Stays with the Pirate, trying to get that single hit that's gonna bring him back into an even stock game. But Cloudy, being very patient, keeps the stock, uh, the shield up. The up smash from Mithra is not enough to take the stock. We see this great, oh incredible God. work from Spargo. Perfect punish and gets the stock off of Cloudy. Even stock game once again. What a foresight. Like, he knew that he didn't have to hit it. What is this bat within type of stuff calling from from the I guess once again, but Spargo taking that stock in a very clean manner. Obviously, Cloudy did not like that at all. And changing from Pyra back to Mithra, from Mithra to Pyra, then back to Mithra. And the damage is racking up. It seems like Cloudy is within the total domination, as we're seeing right now, of this matchup. With a little bit more of a, a firepower that he needs, trying to go there with a prominence reward, but doesn't quite get it. And as Spargo gets back to the stage, and now we're seeing that the advantage is in favor of Mithra. And I feel like it's this is a matchup that you need to have uh, in the same thing. Like, you have to be on par with the other yeah. Igus, because if not, you're going to be eaten alive. Like, Pyre and Mitha counter the, the, counter the other person so hard that it's hard to not do it. Yeah, I mean, and that's I think that's why we see them uh, actually swap a lot between them to not have the... Oh, well, the Dito, it actually looks more favorable. Oh! You're right, of course. And now we're seeing that Spargo immediately closing up the gap that there was. And I, I really don't know, like, if Pyra's, Pyra, the fact that Pyra is slow and the fact that Mithra can be so oppressive sometimes makes the Ditto the only option because once you're in that type of situation, it becomes very harsh. As we've been seeing most of the time, except when it comes for a notable difference in percentage, they have been keeping the same character out front. Mithra, Pyra, it be. And I've been seeing exactly that. Oh my god, uh -oh. be careful. Oh, this could be in, but no. Spargo with the uh, unfortunate way of not being able to take care of this stock right here but comes back once again and like i mentioned you see that they're both similar in percent then they change to the same character oh my god this could be a... no oh, he's he's back. Back. i mean if spargo is an, an expert on the character he knows what the limits of the recovery are and he made it work just now but yeah cloudy had a great advantage coming into this the last stock uh, but Spargo just makes his work and it's now a pretty much a last hit situation. It's gonna be Cloudy with the tilt, does not take the stock to death. We see the, the switch from Spargo to Pyra. Both of them looking for a single hit to take this stock. He's gonna get the side B. Is there gonna be a follow up? The pressure on the ledge! Oh, but it's gonna be Cloudy! Oh. He's gonna catch him with the provenance rebels, but it's not enough just yet to take the stock. Tries to get the tilt. Walks right into that side B. Doesn't take the stock just yet. It's gonna be Spargo who closes that up with the up B and manages to clutch game one on his favor. This was the first game. Yeah. I, I just want to let y'all know, this was the first game, ladies and gentlemen. And this was a very a, a heart clencher. Not going to lie. Like, everybody was always on the edge of their seat because both of the dittos for these characters are very, very volatile. Simply because of the fact that you have to be on your edge. You have to be on your feet. And even though he wasn't able to make that back, there we go with the prominence revolt that Cloudy could have been made it, it in order to be able to, you know, like, take care of this. And now we're seeing right here the, the forwarder once again. Jesus Christ. That... That this is just such a very, very hype matchup coming from two players that are known to make, uh, you know, uh, make waves whenever they participate in tournaments. 
I mean, and I know it's almost like if you have Spargo on a match, it's always like a banger. Uh, and, and, and we've seen him on, over the last few weeks. And of course, against someone like Cloudy, it's a guaranteed banger of a match because both of them are amazing. And, and that's why game one felt like a last game, last of situation even. But yeah, it's just the first game of winner's bracket. So yeah, Spargo and Cloudy, once again, uh, both the same with the Ditto, with the Mithra. Because we know, oh well, we see the, the switch from Spargo only for the recovery. Switches back instantly. Uh, oh, 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 that's nice. gonna, I think that might be it. Great. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I called it. Great edge guarding from Cloudy, who manages to uh, take the stock early from Spargo in the first minute, but the percentage is super similar. No punish there from Spargo, just blocks that, does not get hit. But it's gonna be Cloudy now yes. getting some damage, and it's gonna be Spargo popping the balloon. Pog. Yes, of <laughs> course, man. Of course. Very, very hype right there to see the balloon pop. And uh, regardless, you see that Cloudy is using quite the options against uh, Pyra of all characters and now that's exactly what I wanted to mention like whenever you're you're with Pyra you have to be you have to be noticeable uh, with your defense if you're up against Mithra there we go with the back air sending her straight and slamming himself into the clock tower here in uh, the town from Animal Crossing and we're seeing the bus just falling all the way over there uh, just like we're seeing both of these players uh, struggle to get back onto the stage I was seeing Cloudy just use that I don't know if it was a, either the Ray of Punishment or the or the promo dust, but he makes it back to the stage, and this is a very difficult thing to like maneuver around because you you, you have Mithra, you have her, you know the fact that she's a fast baller and that, and everything. But it's a I really don't know how to state that this matchup is because every single time that I see it, it's just something completely different. Yeah, I mean for sure. And one would think that people play these characters very similarly, but it, it's usually not the case. Uh, we see Spargo here doing a lot of damage, taking Cloudy from one side to the stage to the other. Tries to take the stack right there. Good tech from Spargo passes the tech, the tech check. Cloudy with the backer once again does not take the stock. He's just trying to surprise Spargo off stage with that obby. Does not do it. Uh, Spargo looking for a way to go in, trying to find an aerial to maybe take the stock here, get the dash attack. And now it's a dangerous situation for Cloudy who's struggling a little bit to get a hit. That final hit to close the stock, and Spargo pretty much about to bring this back. Oh, what a tech! He's what a tech wow. right there, man. He called it. I mean, he knew. Cloudy was gonna do something about it, so that's why he used the the, the Oppie to take the stuck, and it works out on, on his favor. But Cloudy brings this back just as fast, and once again, it's a last stock situation. Impressive stuff right there. Even though he was on the platform, like he understood that he could kill with that prominence revolt. So I have to hand it to him. Pretty, pretty sick. So here we go once again. Uh, dead even percentage is not gonna lie. Now Cloudy uh, placing the uh, percentage lead for himself as we're seeing right there Spargo with the patience just understanding that the pressure when he can punish and when he can't and then get him with the side tilt after punishing that get up attack and now uh, Cloudy in a difficult situation once again oh my god wow. this could be it this could be it no he is able to move out of the range out of the effective range of that up air and then now we're seeing that forward smash now it could be the time to change for Pyra exactly the night we're seeing Spargo understands in what moment of the matchup he has to- ah! No way! No way! He did him dirty. He did him dirty. Whatever it takes to take this stuff, he's gonna go for it. Insane, insane reaction from Cloudy. Use your footstool to take the, the last stock. You're looking like Mario Brothers out here, stomping on the Goomba, just uh, sending him <laughs> down. And like, that, that, the thing is, we saw that before in, yep. in the pool. Like, he knew when he could use a footstool. And I love it because everybody's like, aha, whenever you footstool somebody out stage, it's 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 unintentional. And you're nah. a bad player. Like, bro, he did it intentionally, Joe. Shut up. We already see sure. those comments coming. Yeah, just shut up about it. Come on. Impressive stuff like that. Yeah, people say that uh, taking sucks with uh, footstools is disrespectful. Nah, that's just... Absolute optimal style yeah optimal okay but it's a, a fast start here from cloudy surprised that he did not hit the balloon right there it was so close but he's dealing damage really quickly but spargo is doing so as well or trading like straights of aerials attacks uh keeping things super close but this is what we've seen over the past two games uh spargo good reactions there to keep the, the damage coming gets a spike impressive stuff gets the first stock in the first 30 seconds and now cloud is gonna have to fight all the way back if he wants to bring this game to a last stock situation once again 
Good. Yes, I, I agree completely. And just before we continue with the match, yes, Agent Only, whoever hits a balloon first wins. That's my mentality. I do not care. And yes, we're seeing <laughs> yeah. that exactly right now. Spargo Isn't with the it? advantage in the in, in this type of situation. Oh my Woo! god! Cloudy with the with the call out with the down air com completing it into the up smash. And then what a what a I mean I know it's bread and butter, but like the thing is you don't expect it whenever you're in a disadvantage state, and that's just ever so good. Wow. And wow. But immediately Spargo opening up the gap once again making this a two versus one both of the players have one game on the on their marker right now but uh you see the thing is spargo seems in complete dominance of this match as of this moment again Ooh. here it comes spargo knows this super well once again uh punishing that correctly getting a good damage here tries to finish the stock uh, as fast as possible doesn't do it just yet cloudy trying to pressure in the left does not get an attack there but he's now gonna be his turn both of these players have been using this stage to their advantage really really well we saw it on the last two stocks one each uh but spargo looking like having a commanding lead so far is gonna be the this smash attack from cloudy doesn't take a stock just yet as fargo makes it back to the stage tries to get one of these hits to find an opening and maybe potentially take the stock both of them switch to pyra on q once again at the same time and it's looking like fargo is fishing for it doesn't find it just yet the change to mithra i didn't even notice when he did it but he's looking for the upper doesn't find it cloudy looking like he's in danger trying to get uh, a follow-up after that side B gets a dash attack, doesn't take this stock to Jess, but the pressure once again with the side B, Spargo manages to go out, no. but he's too far to come back. Yes, that's why he changed, he tried to make it, um, maybe change the pirate to see if he could make it back, but then no, he wasn't able to. And now we're going to be seeing a Mithra once again coming from both of them, and now Spargo has to kill as soon as possible. If not, you're going to get positive momentum in order to be able to take this out. What was that? Wow, what a what? trade. I'm sorry, like, am, did my eyes fail me? I have 2020 vision, ladies and gentlemen. Not even I could see what happened there. Come on. These guys are playing in another dimension, bro. I'm telling you. Spargo, I mean, he had an insane lead after what we saw in the first though. Here we get the replay. Thank you to production. Uh, Look at the percentage. I mean, 125, it's expected, but what even hit him? Oh, it was Nair. It was, was it Nair? Nair? Yeah, it was, a, it was a hit of Nair. What the heck? I mean, yeah, you, you guys, in order to be able to understand Mexican level of competition, we're going to do Dragon Ball out here. Stop seeing with your eyes. You have to start sensing the combat. Yeah. Like we're going to be seeing it right now. 2-1 Spargo's favor. Let's go. Running it back directly to Town and City. And it seems like Spargo is in angry mode because he's taking the percentage within his grasp right now. But we immediately caught with the retaliation. We consi consistently understanding and matching Spargo in momentum. That's not something anybody can do. I mean, and this this set has looked incredibly quick, and I think it also comes down to them. Uh, all of their matches being pretty much in town and city, using that the platforms to their advantage, right? Like we saw in the last game, and I think that's been a factor that has influenced their stock and how the game moves super quickly, just as good as these two players being experts on their characters. Spargo trying to get the follow-up. He doesn't find it just there once again with the side V. Trying to look for something else. Doesn't find a footstool. Goes for the downer. Doesn't find it on the ledge. Cloudy now has the advantage on the positioning on the stage. Ooh. Tries to read the option. No punisher, but gets a second grab. Barely avoids that side V. Once again on the ledge. He's gonna get the tilt. Doesn't take this dog just yet. Spargo switching between characters. Makes it come the recovery. Makes it back with Tyra. He's gonna get the downer. Doesn't find the follow-up. The prominence revolt there from Cloudy. Oh. Avoids it. And Spark is gonna punish with a forward match. What an, an, an incredibly weird interaction we saw right there. You see, like, the thing is, it looked a lot whenever you push Kirby off stage after his yeah. B. It, yeah. it seemed like they, they just share the same thing, all right? Uh, so Sion with the playing Super Smash Bros. right there, and Spargo barely making it back to the stage right now, trying to get the grab. No option was uh, available right there, and immediately changing back to Mithra after losing that stock. Cloudy with the offense, making Spargo, matching Spargo up in, in the same momentum as he has. Once again, I, I have to give him credit because uh, Spargo's aggressivity is it something that you can easily match up to and Cloudy is doing it right now and not only that he can do it with the plethora of characters yeah exactly and just keeps the pressure up tries to punish with that forest match doesn't do it just yet uh still has a very slight advantage over Cloudy so far in this game four but Cloudy's got the advantage on this stage he's gonna get the follow-up with that nair doesn't get anything off of that uh, anyway Spargo uh keeping the pressure up but it pretty much it looks like they're trading strings uh, all around the stage is gonna see the, the switch to Pyra from Cloudy to potentially take the stock this here with the with the tilt doesn't find it and it's gonna be Spargo's turn to switch to Pyra 
Mara gets the upper, doesn't find his stock just yet, but gets the pressure up. The dash attack, no punish from Cloudy, who tries to get a grab, misses. No punish from Spargo either. Spargo oh. pushing Cloudy into the side, being incredibly smart. It's gonna be a throw, the forward throw, and Edgar situation switches back to Pyre really quickly, but doesn't find anything off of that just yet. And it's gonna be Cloudy with the tilt from the middle of the stage, oh. pretty much taking this with the Edgar. Careful now. Once again, you see Sparkle is trying to go for all the changing characters, and now once again trying to go with the Bray of Punishment. Doesn't quite get it, and then the get-up attack from Cloudy can simply get off of me. And now we're seeing, oh, the damage is racking up. We could be seeing a game number five. Careful, because, oh, right, no, no jump, okay, but no spike either. And 181% on this Aegis, and you have to take this stock now, Spargo, if you want to be huh. able to not get a very crazy advantage like we've seen Cloudy do beforehand. All right, is it possible to forward though once again? I was thinking that maybe now the down throw would kill. And the thing is, they're mistiming their spikes every single time they try to get back to the stage. But what a, what a, what a false sense of safety that Spargo gave Cloudy right there. And very well done. Now we're seeing that. Oh, this could be it. No, this, oh, this is it. That's what a it. Draw, the that's it. Did. <laughs> He's this is what you get making... for spiking me. This is what you get for footballing me. <laughs> He's making a statement, dude. A single mistake costs you the entire set and. Yeah, there's no better definition than Spargon. We've seen him as clutch as clutch can get. What an amazing display of talent. He looked like he was on a disadvantage just a couple of seconds before. Gets the parry, gets the tilt perfectly punished. And then right here, Cloudy tries to be fast. And Spargo gets a grab, gets a spike. Nah, you're not coming back from that. Get out of here. This is my <laughs> stage. And I don't want to... Hey, this is something that I noticed. But Spargo popped the balloon in game two. And he won in game four just like Jen. So... Mm -hmm. It's facts. It's very facts. Y'all, if y'all play